Hey, good morning. So uh, I was checking out uh, YouTube videos online, uh, trying to figure out a, a lesson to do for this week, and I noticed that all of the all of the videos for the Linda Ronstadt song "You're No Good," at least all the ones I saw, uh, had they left out a few parts. Uh, they were kind of oversimplified, and there's there's some stuff going on in there on the record that they didn't mention and I'm not saying you have to play any song just like the record that's up to you but it, sometimes it's good to know what uh, what's there before you uh, change it too much uh, so you can change it with some kind of intention anyway uh, so let's get into You're No Good 1974 Lynn Bronstadt uh, the guitar player was Andrew Gold on this record who was a did a lot of collaborations with Linda Ronstadt and uh, let's just check out what he played okay the first thing you're going to hear in the song is the electric piano and uh, that was also played by Andrew Gold he played guitar electric piano and drums on the song very busy guy the second thing you hear is the guitar coming in playing a uh, B flat minor seventh and then to a uh, an E flat major with the B flat and the bass in the root. So it's like, and there's a little slide down. And that only happens, uh, that only, you only hear that once. And then you come to the part that I haven't uh, seen anyone on YouTube. Uh, telling people about and that is a uh, a B flat minor with this rhythm and the rhythm of that uh, varies kind of you know it randomly uh, it's either it's it's either this or it's this uh, you can do either way mix them up and that uh, adds quite a bit of rhythm to the uh, to the verse that I uh, I think is pretty essential the next thing you hear, of course, is the, and that's the uh, G flat to an A flat, both major, down to a D flat, and then the D flat, uh, you can either slide it down, the keyboard does that, and uh, I don't know if the guitar player uh, does that all the time or not, you can either do it or not. If you have a keyboard player, of course, if you don't, you probably want to do that slide down. It's just a chromatic. And when you get down to that, uh, that low B flat, it's minor. And then E flat to F, both major, so it's... After that, of course, you're back to the verse. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned it, but you're playing a uh, the top, say, three strings of a B flat minor, and then you're bouncing off this uh, uh, C minor here, just the top three strings. B flat. C minor, and then back to the B flat minor, and then you get to the uh, the little breakdown thing.
those, that's just three strings. Um, the first one is uh, the uh, sixth fret on the D and G plus the uh, fourth fret on the B with that rhythm. Then you get onto the fourth fret on the D, sixth fret on the G, and fifth fret on the B. Okay, pretty simple. Um, and then after that, of course, you have the uh, while one guitar is playing that thing, playing that thing, the other guitar is going. Okay, sixth fret on the low uh, E string, up to the fourth fret on the A string, down to the third fret on the G, back up to the fourth fret on the A, second fret on the E string. You're sliding from the fourth to the sixth there. So. Okay. And those that's happening simultaneously, as you can probably tell by listening to the record, with the with that thing. Uh, and then you get to another part that uh, I think is kind of important in this song, which is the uh, when you get to the actual solo per se, the pre bends. I think their pre bends are really important. That's what makes it sound so cool. And it's just you slide up to the uh, to the thirteenth fret on the D string, and up to the eleventh fret on the G. So you're pre bending at one full tone, uh, two frets basically. Right, and then you pre bend the uh, the thirteenth fret of the B string too. That's only a half step bend. Okay, and uh, when you get to the E string, the whole thing goes like this. Right? Um, so pre-bend all those uh, last little bit is you're bending the uh, 13th fret on the E string down to the 11th fret then you're down to the uh, 14th fret on the B string back to the 11th fret on the E and down to the 13th fret on the G string the whole thing is like And the end of the solo was like. And those are all pre bent too. And they're all uh, whole step bends. Okay, the first one is the eighth fret of the G string. You're just pre-bending it, lit, relaxing it down to pitch, and then bending it back up to where you started. Then you go up to the 10th fret and do that again. And then up to the 12th fret and do it again. When you get, when you get up to the uh, 12th fret, there's a little additional lick in there. And then up to the, uh, excuse me, the 15th fret, bending the G string, pre-bending it, 
relaxing it down to pitch and then bending it back up and then hitting this uh, F note uh, 13th fret on the high E string so the whole thing is so the rest of the song is pretty much uh, pretty similar to that So there's another breakdown at the end. One guitar is, is going like this, starting at the uh, eighth fret of the A and D strings. Okay. So you're starting at the eighth fret of the uh, a and D strings going down and back up. So you're going down to the sixth fret on those same two strings and back up. Then you're going up to the uh, sixth fret of the D and G strings. And from there, you're doing a bend on both the uh, B string eighth fret and the G string eighth fret at the same time. Okay, um, and while you're doing that, uh, the other guitar waits for a while and then plays this thing. Now that is just, uh, you're playing 10th fret on the G string, 9th fret on the B string, and 11th fret on the high E string. Then you release this uh, high E string down to the uh, 9th fret, so it sounds like... Okay, then you go up here, 13th fret on the G string, 14th fret on the B string, and 11th fret on the high E. So that's the whole thing. Well, that about wraps it up for today. Uh, go ahead and sign up and, you know, all that stuff. As uh, you've been told a million times by people. Uh, and if you have any questions about this lesson, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, I might revisit this if there's anything people want to know, more detail maybe. Okay, thanks and I'll see you next time.